Introduction to Numerical Differentiation. So let's say we have a function and we have stored it at seven discrete points. And we would like to calculate the second order derivative of that function. So we don't have an analytical expression for this. All we know is that function at seven discrete points. How do we do this? Well, we're armed with finite difference approximations, and we've learned how to derive finite difference approximations. And here is the one we will use to estimate a second order derivative. And it involves three points. So this finite difference approximation will calculate the second order derivative at the midpoint, and it will use function values from either side of that. So as an example, the second order derivative at the second point would be f1 minus 2 times f2 plus f3 divided by h squared. And remember, h is the distance between adjacent points. So the second order derivative here is being approximated using that point plus its surrounding points. The second order derivative at the fifth point, and I've just picked the second and fifth point as examples here, will be f4 minus 2 times f5 plus f6 divided by h squared, and h is the spacing between the points. So the second order derivative here is being approximated using information from f4, 5, and 6. Now let's think about the boundaries, the first and the last point on the grid. So if we were to write our finite difference at the first point here, it would be F0, which exists outside the grid, which actually doesn't exist at all, minus two times F1 plus F2 divided by the spacing between the points squared, that's H squared. At the other side of the grid, at the seventh point, the finite difference would be F6, minus two times F7 plus F8, and F8 is out here and doesn't actually exist. So that's the problem. We need an F0 and an F8. They don't exist. And that's because our finite difference equations at the edge of the grid are reaching to the outside. That's why this problem happens. So that's the problem at the boundaries, and there's lots of ways to handle this, and that whole family of solutions of how to handle that are called boundary conditions. Not to be confused with boundary conditions when we took, uh, you know, electromagnetics or physics or differential equations and we talked about boundary conditions. This is something a little bit different. This is a numerical problem that happens at the edge of grids to numerical methods. Here's one thing we could do. We could derive special finite difference equations for the first and last point. So for example, if we want to calculate the second order derivative at this point, we could actually use information from these four points. So we could set up our translated grid this way and end up deriving our finite difference equation like this. And for the last point, we would set up our offset grids this way where zero is at the last point and derive our finite difference approximation this way. So we would have one finite difference approximation for all of the interior points, and then the boundary points get their own special finite difference equation. And this is almost always the theme where the boundaries are handled separately from all of the interior points. This is just one possible thing to do. So we could summarize our whole way of calculating a numerical derivative, numerical differentiation here this way. And we could write, this is the finite difference approximation we're using for all of the interior points. And here's the two finite difference approximations we're using for the first and the last points. The points at the edge always seem to get their own special finite difference equation. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.